o'clock to two o'clock. This is the main incision. And now I'm going to stain the capsule with tripan blue dye. This is side ports. This is an air bubble. And now the anti capsule is being stained with tripan blue dye. This is little bit of adrenaline. And now I'm going to wash the dye out. It's done. I just reposited like that. Now this is two percent HPMC. I just reposited. And now I'm going to break this cyanic here with this iris repositor. This little bit of bleeding from the pupillary margin. And now capsular excess. And the capsule is incised. Then the capsule is convex and some oily fluid has come out. So I'll do a mini rexis first. Aspirate some cord. and reduce the intralenticular pressure. This patient has undergone vitrectomy, silicone oil was injected, and then the silicone oil has been removed. So I'm reducing the intralenticular pressure, aspirating some lens matter from the capsular bag. Whisker. I just hooked out. I see. Like when I just took it. Since. Now I'm going to enlarge the uh, rexis. Texas versus hold this tag and this rexis is being enlarged. Going to apply, have applied only one iris hook or like one. If I go hand this. And now this cataract is not hard at all. This is very soft cataract. So we have to be very careful.
rotating the nucleus now. FICO power at this time is 50 percent, flow rate is 45 and vacuum is 450. So one portion of the nucleus has been emulsified. This is another portion. The only one iris hook has been applied and that iris hook is helping a lot. Now we can see this is a fibrous plaque at the center of the posterior capsule. This one. side port of the to enlarge this side port to introduce the simco and now I can go to sub incisional area and remove the cortex from this place Now there is all around this fibrous plug, there is a layer of cells. So we have to dislodge these cells, irrigating probe, irrigating probe. Now I will just sweep the irrigating fluid over this posterior capsule and these cells will get dislodged. I will not consider removing this fibrous plaque because this is a vitectomized eye. We will try ear glazer in the post operative period. And now I am going to remove the iris hook. Iris hook to remove corbo. First retract this silicon guard backward, go forward, turn it and remove it like this. You were okay by manual though. Now I'm going to use bimanual irrigation aspiration for cortical removal of this superior part.
so cortex has been cleaned visco this is 2% spmc i'm going to use a beaker tis for iol implantation so i'll enlarge this main wound little bit now here goes the intraocular lens and the lens has gone in the bag this is the rexus margin and here this is the rexus margin and now i'm going to remove the visco first time irrigating going behind the eye will irrigating the bag and now i start aspirating now i am using the bimanual ia for removal of visco for some more visco is still there this is moxifloxacin and now i am going to close the side ports now this is the final lavage at this time there is some still some visco sticking to the corneal endothelium it will come out here it is yes all the visco has come out and now the anti chamber is being formed nicely and here we conclude the case